Hello YouTube! Welcome to part 3 of my series of tutorials for Game Maker. This tutorial, we're going to make enemy AI, walls, enemy stats, and enemy damage. Let's first of all start off with AI. AI is really, really simple with Game Maker. I love how they do their AI. So first of all, before we even start about uh, think, start thinking about doing the AI, let's go ahead and make the enemies solid. That way the enemies will go around each other. And now, add event, step, step event. You have, you have to, remember, you have to put this inside the step event of the enemy. Add some code into the step event. Type in MP underscore potential underscore step right here. Now, inside that, type in obj underscore player dot x or whatever the player's name is. obj underscore player dot y. And let's say at the speed of 5, check all, or er, I should say that false, because we only want to check solid things. Click check mark, test the game. Now the enemies should start going towards the player. Let's make sure it works. Now, as you can see, but they don't rotate. This is what I was trying to teach you about last tutorial about the image angles uh, to the direction. Now, let's make the uh, enemies face towards the direction. Since after you do this code, type it under that, type in image angle equals direction. This is the same as the player's image angle to equals direction. Now, now they rotate towards the way they are facing. See? Now they rotate towards the direction. That's what I was trying to show you last tutorial. Well, I didn't really explain it. I could. This, drill, this, this one, I think I might have explained it a little bit better. Okay, now that we have them doing that, we want to make the enemies, or actually no, we don't want to make walls. Things that enemies won't be able to get past. So let's make a new sprite, call the sprite, SPR underscore wall. Edit, just make it a 32 by 32 sprite. I'm just going to fill it in with black. Check mark, check mark. Don't really worry about centering the spri this sprite. It doesn't really matter if you center, center it or not. Let's make a new object. Give it the wall sprite. Now make sure this wall is solid. That way the enemies will go around it. If it's not solid, the en enemies will go straight through the wall. Now let's place some of those walls around the player. And now the enemies should go around the wall. Let's go ahead and uh, name the wall object OBJ underscore wall. So I test the game. Now, as you can see, the enemies will actually go around the walls, but they still go through the player. Now, let's make them stop at the player. All you gotta do to uh, fix that is make the player himself solid. Testing, testing. And now, as you can see, they'll go around the player. As easy as that. Really simple AI code for Game Maker. Really pretty advanced, too. I love their, this AI code. Now that we have the AI out of the way and the walls out of the way, let's go make uh, start making enemy stats. So first of all, open up your enemy and add the create event to the enemy. Add some code into the, into the create event. Let's type in, for example, HP equals 10, HPTO equals 10, and damage equals, let's say, 2. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and start drawing the uh, health bar and stuff. Now in the draw event, I will put this code inside the uh, description, so just look in the description for this code in case you don't feel like typing it. First of all, we need to draw the health bar at this object's x and y position. So let's start off, start off with draw and score health bar x minus 16, y minus 18, and then x plus 16, y minus 16. Amount HP slash HPTO times 100, same as the player health bar. Back color C underscore black. Minimum color C underscore green. Maximum color C underscore green. Direction, like I said, keep that at zero. Show back true. Show border true. Now let's go and test the game. Make sure it draws the health bar. Now, I see it draws the health bar, but it doesn't draw the sprite itself. Now, this this draw code will draw the sprite. Above the health bar, type in draw underscore sprite underscore ext sprite underscore index image underscore index. Oops, get rid of that. 
image index x y image image underscore x scale image underscore y scale image underscore angle image underscore blend and image underscore alpha like I said I'll put this code into the in the description so just copy it from the description if you need it this code will actually draw the sprite of the object no uh, exactly how it's supposed to look one really long code but really really useful now as you can see it draws the sprite and also draws the health bars but you can't exactly damage them just yet now let's make it whenever uh, they go to collide with the player the player loses damage so add event cool. actually no I don't want to do a collision with player step actually no go to the create event of the enemy type in add a new variable call it, call it scan can underscore damage equals true Good, copy that now in the step event at the end type in if can damage equals true okay if distance to object object obj underscore player is equal to zero then can damage equals false actually yeah alarm zero equals let's say 15 and obj underscore hud dot hp because we created the variable inside the hud the variable hp i'll show you obj hud see how we created the variable hp in here this is the player's hp so we the way we've got to change this hp variable is type in obj hud which i'll show you obj hud dot hp minus equals damage the damage this is this variable right here damage so it'll decrease the hair uh players HP by two now add event alarm zero type in can underscore damage equals true and now the way this works is every half second the player will lose a, t a two health if the player is uh, colliding with the enemy test the code out and now as you see or you are losing health now let's make it where the enemies will also lose health too. Now add, uh, add the player, add event, keyboard. Actually, first of all, go to the create event, add the same variable can damage to true equals true. Now in the keyboard space event right here, add some code to that. Type in if can or can underscore damage equals true oops hey, let, me, let me check something real fast Make sure I type yeah can damage to true if can damage equals true var inst inst equals instance underscore nearest x y obj underscore enemy if distance to object inst equals zero with inst HP minus equals let's say five. Now you should be able to damage the enemy. Now as you can see, I'm able to damage the enemy. But it's constant damage, so let's do where it says if can damage equals true. Below HP minus equals five, type in can damage equals false. And alarm zero equals let's say fifteen. Add event, alarm zero, and that add the code and type in can damage equals true. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop this video because I can only record for ten minutes. I will continue this in the next uh, tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and rate and comment on this video on anything you need help on or get confused on. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.